what is up everybody and welcome to TNG Place Cloud Climbers. Um, I'm pretty sure there's no save options in this game, so this is probably about to just be one long video, or maybe I can just stop it and cut it into parts. So, I guess there's that. Let's uh, hop into it. I will say, I've only ever played like five minutes of this game. I don't really know what's going on. We will find out. Has arrived. I had best get my water before going to work. How do you even sleep up here with the wind howling like that? Bam, key. So I guess my name is Stan. Because that would only make sense to have my diary in my room where I'm sleeping. Uh, to me, anyway. Page 1489? God damn, bro. I may need to get to the neighboring tower in the future, but I know the other builders keep the entrance to the bridge locked. I saw a key on the table at the top of our tower a few weeks ago before I went to get more building supplies. I haven't been up there in a few days, so I'll need to check if it's unlocked, or if it unlocks the bridge door. If the other towers be ever become vacant, I might need to get across, so I'll have to keep this in mind. I guess let's get some of that water. I don't know. Game logic. What the fuck? Thanks for opening really nice. Construction oh. on the last Cut tower scene. stopped weeks ago. I can only assume that the builders have met their fate by now. I believe it's safe enough for me to go and continue building higher yet from where they left off. Hey, these guys I'll just died. Across the other two towers to get there, but I'm sure I can find a way. Hold on, is there a way down? Like, can I just leave? Oh, so we're just stuck here and just he's like, yeah, fuck it, I'm gonna go up a build. I guess so. I mean, I guess that's what I would do, even though there's a bunch of dead people over there. Like, what the fuck am I going to do with a dead body, dude? Bernie the Great and Terrible Diary, page 69. For months we've been building faster than ever, yet it seems as if every time we complete a new level, the clouds rise higher and higher. I could have sworn we were close to them decades ago, but we're still not done yet. I can only hope that we're getting close. Signed, Burning of the Great and Terrible. That doesn't... How are you going to be great and terrible, bro? Doors don't open that way. There's nothing in here. What the fuck? Joey Diary, page 420. These guys get it. I've been building all day long and Bernie the Terrible... Wait, what the fuck? Bernie the Great and Terrible has been sitting on his ass acting as foreman. In other words, he doesn't do any work and drinks all our water. I started locking my water in a chest in case he really does think he's above all us. You know what? I've got a foreman just like that. He just watches us. He doesn't even know what the fuck we're doing. He ain't drinking water either, if you catch my drift. Fuck you then. I think this is where we get the key, yeah. Over here. Get us a key. That's a hammer, I guess. Why do you do this? You cannot be walking like this at 136 frames per second. That's not how this works. Open sesame! Smiley face. Can I close the door? Nope. Okay, what's this? Edna, page 36. I can't believe today is the 100th anniversary of our tower. You guys have been building that tower for 100 years? Or like it's been built for 100? I can only assume. I, I don't know. I know others have been building much longer, and now I wish our grandparents had taken this whole thing more seriously. A hundred years ago, they decided things were getting dangerous, but why didn't they see the problem two hundred years ago, or even longer? I'm still glad they started building, but I just wish we had seen this coming. I guess I'm going to figure out 
what they are talking it's about been here shortly. Quite some time since I was on the second tower. I haven't crossed this bridge since the builders became greedy and took the supplies that were meant to come to our tower. Just like all the other towers, its inhabitants quickly grew desperate and aggressive. Now it stands empty. Yeah, you seem to be the only one here, bro. What's up with that? What's up, Kyle? Page 45. I guess no one else is writing like you are, man. Like, you got a thousand pages. Everyone else got, like... I mean, the closest with Joey, he got 420 pages. And he's like, fuck it, I'm done writing. I guess I knew this day would come, but I didn't expect it to come this soon. Yesterday, we started extreme rationing of our water. A few days back, we stopped getting supplies from the ground crew on our lift. We can only assume that they've stolen the supplies for themselves, ran out of water and food sources, or simply died. If we don't get into the clouds soon, we might need to see if we can get some from another neighboring tower. Those neighboring towers ain't gonna help yo ass. Oh, sorry, Bob. Open up. Oh, your key. Holy f Bertha, diary page 9825. Dear diary, wouldn't it be ironic if it rained now after decades of building? Now would be the perfect time since we've just started rationing our supplies more. But I have a good feeling about things. I know I've never seen rain myself, but grandmother always told me how wonderful it felt. It would be so surreal to be on the ground and see water from miles instead of a desert and wasteland. I'm sure it will rain someday. We just need to survive until then. Whack. We installed a rope cart on this level to get to the third tower. I should be able to use it to get across. Yeah, I'd say so. There's nothing. Fuck it, let's go up here. Oh, cool. Like, is this whole thing our tower? Or are the neighboring towers like. I don't know. I don't know how that works. I wish you could sprint. I wish there's a sprint button. You got balls. I'll say that. It's beautiful if these dust storms weren't so suffocating. Is that how he started building because it was too fucked up down there? Now how you know you ain't I about to just... find what I'm looking for at the fourth tower. How you know you're just not going to get here and then someone's going to get mad at your own tower and then just start whooping your ass? Hadang! Page one. I couldn't be more frustrated right now. We're running out of water, running out of supplies, and Carl just won't get along with me. At least five times a day he pretends he's going to push me off the tower. I swear if I do fall someday, it'll be his fault. Joey. Hey, it's Joey from earlier. Yesterday, Hanaga fell off the tower. <laughs> I don't know how it happened, but it was a shame, especially since he had the key to most of our water chests. We'll need to break the locked ones open too soon since we've almost emptied out the other chests. Okay, okay, so who's who's the guy that's about pushy, pushing you off of there? Carl? So let's find some of Carl's letters. See if, see if Carl's got anything to say. Walk all the way around, go up some steps. Where are you at, Carl? Carl! Carl! 
I just can't get over it. Haranga gives the absolute best reactions when I mess with him. For the past week I've been pretending to get mad and shove my arms at him as if I'm going to push him off the tower. I don't think this will ever get old, and I can tell Haranga loves it. He loves it. I don't feel like that's true, Carl. I think you're just a fucking dick. Alright, let's see what we got here. Uh huh. Yeah. Ooh. Looks like I'll need to fix this bridge. I ain't fixing shit. Stack of planks required. Where the fuck do you want me to get a stack of planks at? Stack of planks. Am I gonna have to come back here and get like one and one and one? It's hard to believe that I'm the last one here. Why are I you there? I never thought it would end like this. Why are you here? It makes you wonder what the whole point was in the first place. You don't even know. He's like, I don't even know I'm here. Note I have of ambition. Out of everyone on this earth, our families were the only ones who took the water crisis seriously. We were the ones who started building. We were mocked and told we were insane. We were the ones who everyone looked to when the lakes and rivers dried up. Our blueprints were the ones that were stolen as people became desperate out of everyone on the, it's this earth. We are the ones who deserve to survive. The clouds are brimming with liquid life, but are still so evasive. We've been building for a long time, but we're not done yet. We have farther to go. We will climb to the clouds. That's dumb as fuck. Like... This evening, Kevin made a really cheesy speech about how we alone will prevail and how we're the only descendants of the Great Ones who deserved life. It was honestly the cringiest speech I've ever heard, and that's really saying a lot considering the other stuff he's been saying lately. He also keeps referring to himself in the third person and only responds to us if we call him Son of Zilcher. The dude's fucking gone bananas. What can I say? Open! There's no handle. Pick up the hammer and bust the door open. I want to see what's in there. Invent a run button. Invent a run button. Yeah, no. Is that? Oh, yeah, we don't need things. People can just walk up the stairs straight. Fuck If they fall, then that's less people we got to worry about. So it's just me. How the f does this work? really is beautiful even with the dust storms uh, I, my guess is that it's you have never away. been anywhere I've been working on that tower my whole life and never once stopped to appreciate what we spent our lives building we only looked up to the clouds hoping we could someday reach them so we could prolong our lives but now that everyone's gone I know any attempt I might make at accomplishing that would be futile Better than spending the rest of my life building a tower. Maybe it's time I took a break. It's been a long time, but I think I'm finally done. I thought he was about to jump. Bam, it's raining. Why 
What the shit was that? Fuck Cloud Climber. What was the point of this game? Fuck Cloud Climber. <laughs> 